All right. The question today is if you were running a social media agency today, how would you run it and how would you make your first sale? This is coming in from Alex, one of my former high school students who ran a similar project his senior year. He has launched a business and I will put the link below this video so you can check it out called Outdoor Alliances. Um, it's a beautiful website. He is focusing in on marketing for campgrounds, RV parks, and the outdoor industry. So Alex, when it comes to making my first sale, I need two things. I need a target audience. Now you, you've got a target industry, but now do the research, buy a list, do some Google searches, and come up with about 50 different um, potential customers that you would like to try to sell your services to. Now that you have that list, dive deep into it and figure out what problem you can solve for each of those potential customers. In this space, really what you're thinking about for RV parks and campgrounds is bookings. They need their spots reserved well in advance and paid for so that they can run their business. If you can figure out how to solve that problem for them, uh, it's a simple email. It is, hey, do you have any extra spaces you're trying to rent out this year? That was probably not the best sentence, but you could, do you need more um, of your spaces rented out this year? And all you are waiting for out of those 50 is for two or three of them to say yes. And then you offer them or you dive deeper into a conversation with them about solving their problem. Sales is all about solving problems. It's not about the new shiny whiz bang website that you can put together and launch out for them. If it doesn't necessarily solve a problem, you're gonna have a harder time selling what you're doing. Social media management, as it relates to this, you'd have to come up with a strategy of how you're going to help them get more bookings based on your social media efforts. Um, if you know someone in the industry, it would be a good idea to get a test campaign up and running with them so that you can case study the success that you're going to have with your other customers. But that's how I would make my first sale in just about any industry in the marketing space. First, um, I like the website's beautiful. I love that you've niched down. Now create that target list, figure out what problem you can solve for them, and then reach out and offer to solve that problem. If they need that problem solved, they'll respond and you'll have a good conversation going about um, helping them and growing your business. It's the best way to attack this. I think you had one other question. How do you scale the business so it can run on its own? What are the tools and strategies to follow? This is a great question, but what I would definitely say is don't skip over the first step, which is a dependable, predictable, repeatable sales process. Go out, get your first five customers, bust your butt, making money for them, helping your business grow. And then we can circle back to scaling the business. I have found that entrepreneurs can sometimes bog themselves down with the strategies of scaling before they've even made their first sale or they're not even making six or seven figures in revenue. Uh, a social media marketing company should easily make you into the mid six figures after a couple of years of work. If you really push hard and stay niche focused and attack every opportunity that's out there, uh, you can do it much, much faster. Super excited for you. If you have any other questions after this video, I know we have a call scheduled. If you're watching this video, um, there's a link below to schedule a call if you want to talk a little bit more about marketing for your business. And we're always here for you. Um, I'm also going to drop a link down below so you can get a free copy of my new book, Local SEO Secrets. Go ahead and grab that copy while we're still giving the digital copy away for free. And if you need anything else, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. I don't know what side that'll be on when the video is posted. Uh, hey, you got me to dance. Peace.